Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you the two bed duplex. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right, so today is a penthouse tour. Then I'm going to show you two units right at the top of Spottishwood 18 right here. We are in the Spottishwood region. And if you're hunting for freehold in CB zoning, this is the one to look out for. We're heading to a two-bedder duplex as well as a one-bedder duplex penthouse. This is, of course, a very special zone. And of course, right there is the entire suite of Everton Heritage shop houses. Let's follow us on this duplex tour. Let's go. I'm excited. Because I want to show you the two bed duplex version first And later on we'll head upstairs to see the one beta duplex penthouse For Spottershoot 18, what was being done to the architecture was that In totality you have 250 over units right here We're sitting on a freehold plot So we're in District 2 CCR So if you pinpoint our exact locale A lot of people that are hunting for freehold properties They will come to the Everton area Because we're also right on top of this rows of shop houses That has a lot of heritage that is under conservation status We call them the Everton shop houses. When people want to hunt for freehold, there are only four projects here to choose from. And the first one that sprouted out was Spottishwood Residences as well as Spottishwood 18. And this is the one I'm standing in. Both of these properties TOP around the year 2014. Third one was Spottishwood Suite completed in 2017. And then of course the last and final one was Sky Everton, which was also close to sold up. It's going to be TOP this year in 2023. Inside Tanjung Parga, there's a couple of boutique developments. Some are freehold, but predominantly the moment you enter into CBD zoning is all 99 years. Latest big ball is that guy over there of course because it's raining here let me just uh, maybe how about our media team a little bit there's one pearl bank heritage in history that is already doing at the range of about 26 all the way to 2,900 dollars per square foot this is Sky Everton it's going to be completed 2023 and you can see Penicat at Duxton and right opposite us this is uh, Spottishwood Suites as well as Spottishwood Residences now this one over here right, because over here these are all big units right across us this has predominantly one two beders a little bit of three beders we are right in between the trifactor of the MRT station so you have Ultra MRT that's about 700 odd meters away. You have the upcoming Cantonment MRT that's about a 200 meters radius. You are also walkable to Tanjong Pagar MRT if you want to head in. Have a little bit of shopping inside some of the malls right there. Just look over there. Zoom in a little bit for you. That's where Chinatown is. All the shop houses are under conservation status. Whenever you face some shop houses, you will know that this view is protected. So there's not going to be any high rise that will pop out right here. Across us, of course, is the entire SGH. Over at this direction, you also see some shop houses right there. It means that right behind Behind there, there will not be any pocket of condos that will sprout up. Yeah, so this is what you see behind the scene. Basically, we have Gwen, we have Kyle, we have Joel. We're in the midst of filming. It's a super rainy day. If you have been following us on our penthouse series where we break down all the floor plans of penthouse you will notice that we talk about segment that developers now technically are not really motivated to build penthouses anymore and if you were to look at some of the latest launches you realize that developers are building the top floors to have just a loft there are no more duplexes of course the latest launch at Terra Hill has some duplexes and that's of course an on block development but when you come to Spotty Shoot 18 level 33 and 34 these are a row of 9 duplexes when you head on to 35 and 36, these are a row of duplex penthouses. That means that you have a stairway up to this level 2 and you have a private pool out there with outdoor roof terrace deck and that is what we mean by penthouses. Now, this is a duplex version. It's not a penthouse but it is extremely rare because out of the entire 250 or units, there are only two of this kind that I'm standing in. I'm standing in one of the two and it's less than 1% of the unit right here. Availability. This is 1098 square feet. It's a two bed duplex loft unit with a super extreme high ceiling at 6.25 meters so let's just pan up and have a look at the ceiling so this is extremely high this is at 6.25 meters and of course the beauty is that you have this full blown windows all the way upward your stairway is internal but you have children that's also fantastic because if your child was to head upstairs it's extremely safe to the stairway inside this segregation of space also gives you an additional option to have a 5 square meters loft being constructed at this portion after applying for approval if I were to bring on the floor plan firstly there's no wasted space because because the moment you come in, you get this straight on open kitchen concept. But if you want, you can make an application to actually tear out this entire wall. Because technically, if you don't need that third bathroom, which is the common bathroom, tear it down, extend your entire kitchen outwards. You can even build an island right here from here all the way towards that direction. So that will then create a lot of space here. Having that open kitchen concept extending all the way and you can feel the space. Kitchen condition currently mainly Bosch appliances, induction cooker. Still have a home shelter right here for your storage needs. 
difference. If you were to flip over, in terms of the dining space, this is the perfect locale for you to put in the barbecue area right here. Not forgetting the fact that for Sporty Show 18, you have four different levels of facility zoning. From level one, where you have a tennis court, swimming pool, wading pool, kids pool, and then you have level five, you have level 14, you have level 24, and you have meditation area, kids playground, jacuzzi, barbecue pit, and of course, your pavilion deck is all spread over four different levels. Maintenance fee is extremely decent, below $300. In fact, it's in the mid-range of $200. Definitely fantastic. This is the common bathroom that I was talking about. So technically speaking, if you can apply to tear out this portion, because based on the floor plan that we checked, there seems to be no pillow wall. But do put in a disclaimer here. Please get your ID to apply with MCST. So I want to show you this room because what surprises is of course, common room is also pretty good size. You can put in even a king bed if you want to. So if you want to just pan out the bed here of the king bed with two side tables, extremely spacious. You even have a walkout balcony that's even linked to your front balcony. So this allows you to overlook towards that view as well. And then as we flip over, because of the fact that we are a corner stack, corner stack, you have a bonus openable window right here towards the corner. And of course, this will allow us to see Sky Everton. Now, if you were to look with me towards that corner, that is of course l -Test. And once you head into the CBD zoning, and this is the part that we need to talk about the pricing portion. You'll be talking a lot about 99 years property. And I'm going to bring out this table here for us to look at if you have $2.2 million, which you can own this freehold two-bed duplex right here. What else can you buy? I would just compare everything here within Spottish Wood as well well as one per bank, as well as some of the most famous 99 properties within CBD like Altes and Icon. Technically speaking, you can only get a two bed, two bath, and some of the content are even slightly higher than here. But this is different because you're buying something that's rare. You're buying one of the two only available two bed duplex unit. There's only nine one beta penthouse, another seven one beta duplex, living two units of two beta duplex, which is extremely precious in the sense that you were to own this because of the big square footage. The Per square foot at 2.2 million is technically only at $2003 per square foot. So you're buying something rare, but at the same time, quantum is palatable. PSF is also palatable. Now just have a look at the current new launches in the entire market. So if you've not seen our new launch banter series, by the time episode one and two should already be out, OCR is already doing at 2000 to $2,200 per square foot for 99 new launches. And this is freehold. Within CCR zoning at District 2, you're entering at $2,000 per square foot. That will then give you an indication of being a freehold property, the level of safety benchmark that you're at in conjunction with some of the new launches in the OCR zoning. And RCR is already doing at 25, 26, dollars per square foot and that means that with a 1098 square feet unit you still have room to go and even if let's say after five years if your price is still around this level it is still a safe zoning to hold on to your pricing because at 2.2 million dollars to get a two-bay freehold duplex is not easy Now, I'm going to show you the ensuite. There's ventilation window right here, pretty huge right at the corner. Condition, very well maintained, standing shower. And of course, if we were to head out, this is of course a common bath. And I'm going to bring you upstairs. Currently, stairway is made of metal rail handles as well as uh, glass panels. And of course, if you head to the master, two side tables, currently it's a queen bed. Similarly, because you have full height panel windows, it looks outwards towards the entire view. You get to see all the Everton shop houses right here because it allows you to have this nice portion that is not blocked by any tall buildings in future. Of course, I'm even my Ronnie, hey, you know, right opposite is the Forty Shoot Suites. Now, the key difference is that the two bed duplexes right there is two bed, two bath at about 840 square feet plus minus with a little bit of layout configuration differences. So this is 1098 square feet. However, the quantum is about the same. There are some two bed duplexes for sale right there at about the same price as us, a range of about two four to two five hundred dollars per square foot because of the fact that they are newer. And of course, that is fair because they are 2017 or 2013, but both are freehold status. So if you want to get a bigger square footage at $2,000 per square foot, this will be very suitable for you. If you fancy something that is newer, then of course, Sport Suites will be another choice that you can explore. So if you want to flip over, this is the ensuite. It's slightly bigger because you have an additional corner right here. Standing shower, have more space within your master because you pay for it, right? As the owner staying in the master room, so you can have, have a bigger ensuite. Three panel wardrobes right here. Ceiling height, even at this level, is very, very decent. Just look at the ceiling height, it's about three odd meters. So if you want to come down, this is the view that you will get. Beautiful. This portion right here you can build all the way upwards, flush towards the ceiling, build out a whole row of display shelves, flush in whatever display items that you want to put. That will look extremely beautiful. 
cool. As we come down, flooring wise are marble flooring. Right now, in today's day and age, if you want to own premium, which is a two bed, two bath, it's already about $1.8 million in the RCR zone. But this is CCR and you're getting so much square footage, you're not buying something that is like five, six hundred odd square feet. This is a thousand ninety-eight square feet. So a PSF is lowered drastically. Meantime round, let's head on to the other unit. Let's go. Popping bottles slightly. Yeah, we're dancing slightly. This space has got me feisty, feisty, feisty. Oh my goodness, look at this. 4K projector. Oh my goodness. This one still can, wow, we can expand the screen. Like 80 over inch. <laughs> of course, this would not stay. I don't think this will stay. Fully revamp. So wall paneling is important. Wall paneling changes everything. Alright, so this is the one beta duplex penthouse that I was talking about. Size of this particular unit, 893 square feet on this penthouse deck. There are only nine stacks right on top of us. Will be your private pool upstairs. This is, of course, the one beta version. If you were to purchase any normal one bedrooms right here, you're ranging all the way from about 388 to 400 odd square feet. This is a totality of 893 square feet. Almost everything has been revamped, including the wall paneling right here that is hiding. The home shelter has already been fully converted into a wardrobe system. Have a look at this. The great usage of space. And of course, you have mirror mounted the back of the home shelter door. A nice touch by the developer was that your washer come dryer being mounted at the bottom of your kitchen cabinetry system. And sometimes because of that kind of design, you will eat out a little bit of the bottom cabinetry storage space. However, for a developer for Spotition 18, this was being implemented right here below the DB box. And at the bottom, if you notice plug point, water point, and of course water dispels system right at the ground. And this is the space for your washer come dryer. You have a dedicated zoning, very nice touch. Built-in fridge, built-in freezer, top storage. Even the paneling design of the cabinetry system has been changed. This is to suit the overall theme of this home because if you flip over right here, then you get this beautiful wall paneling and of course you get this soft touch backrest right behind your master room bed head. And of course you have two side tables right there. Home has been fully revamped. This was the original walkway into the bedroom with the wardrobe system right here. But because our client wanted a more seamless system within the one bedder here, the bifolder was installed. This kind of panel cannot enter into the normal passenger lift because they have to pay for manpower to carry up these kind of panels all the way up the staircase to level 35. <laughs> Something to note when you're buying a renovated unit compared to a unit that's not renovated is your renovation cost is part of the purchase price and if I were to just come up with two key differences right here for example this home at 893 square feet is below $1,800 per square foot and this is at $1.6 million and of course if you were to compare maybe to a non-renovated one beta penthouse maybe it might be going for about $1.55 million but take note if you were to break down the differences of 25% down payment with the buyer stamp duty the renovation of a non-renovated has to be pumped up by hard cash on your own However, if you were to purchase a renovated unit because everything has already been lumped into the price and if the value can match the valuation, what is going to happen is that your 75% bank loan is based on the overall purchase price and you do not have to top up additional cash to do any more renovation. So if I were to flip over here, the bathroom has been fully revamped. So compared to the two beta duplex that we saw just now, this is a very different kind of design theme, really like entire hotel. The beauty of having a dark theme, like darker tiles, is easier to maintain. This is like a rugged tile version, more of like a granite kind of feel, very posh and very large kind of design. Even the sink is different, have a look at this. Beautiful. And of course, you have a lot of storage. You have standing rain shower system. And I would say this is really a pristine condition because you don't need to do anything when you buy this one bedroom penthouse duplex bachelor's pad. This, of course, this wall is for you to mount your 75 inch television. If you have your own shot through projector, you can just put it at the exact position. However, there's one additional benefit is that this entire TV console that's floated has already this gliding feature here that you can pull out. This corner right here, by right, there's is just a white wall, so there was nothing here. But uh, you have additional storage at the side, three storage at the top. You have like four panels of bookcase, and of course, at the bottom here, this portion right here, perfect place for your outdoor dining. Assess the paneling, put a zip track here. 
here. You can even change this panel right here to be the bifold door version. And coming back to the rarity of it is that there are only nine one beta duplex penthouse available. One beta's duplex versions on level 33, they are not penthouses, they are just duplex version with a lot of high ceiling. But this is a very different kind of feel because you get your additional pool deck right on top that you can do barbecue at the top. You can also do your own swimming and lapping and you can enjoy it. But meantime, I'm going to bring you upstairs and I will need an umbrella. Ta-da! Oh, this pool is pretty legit because first there's about two laps here. This is a fantastic space. When you buy a penthouse is that if you love a roof terrace, you want to make sure that there's privacy. So you got left and right, high walls, privacy for your neighbors. All roof terraces have a back access gate because that's to the maintenance area. Outside this gate belongs to the management. And what you can potentially do, of course, is barbecue, outdoor exercise, make it an open gym, buy some gym equipments that are rust and rainproof outdoor version. Just use this space as it is because this is something that is a rarity you're buying. The biggest unit at the top of the building. This is of course the best space for you to host a little mini party at home. Of course, you have to flip over this, fantastic. Just have a look at the city view from here. This view will be unblocked because there's uh, the Everton shop houses right here that was protecting your view. It's an awesome place to be in with rich heritage. Of course, you're living right in the heat of the Singapore CBD action. In the meantime, let's head out here. Yeah, been a couple years, yeah, I must have stand. I do. Thank you for staying tuned with us throughout this entire home tour. All information I write down in the link below as well as our profitlinbrothers.com website. And once again, my name is Melvin Lin, Profitlin Brothers co-founder and CEO and uh, always happy to show the place in the meantime. Take care. Good to go. Sure. <laughs> Referring to my notes. Last minute, drastically. Okay. Last hit water. Shui was standing here all the way, right? Yes. Then the house seems so big. Uh, that oh, you never start with her today. Why didn't you start my hair today? I cut my this short hair purposely in order to start one. <laughs>